Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today is Thursday, two more days until we leave for vacation. I am sitting here kind of going through my to-do list, figuring out everything that I need to have done before we leave. So I pretty much have all of my packing done. Our suitcases are over there. Um, we each have one. I was attempting to only do a carry-on size suitcase, but that is definitely not gonna happen. So um, anyhow, most all of my clothes are all packed and ready to go, but the last thing that I pack is like my skincare and my makeup and all the stuff that I use on a daily basis that I don't wanna pack up uh, right away because I'm gonna need to use it the day that we leave. So I wanted to share with you a couple of these amazing bags that I just got for skincare and cosmetics. Let me show you what they look like. So these are the bags. Um, they are from the brand Nice E Bag. Now, I've heard a lot of really good reviews about these bags. I've seen a lot of people posting about them on Instagram. So I had to try them out and see what all the fuss was about. Um, I know a lot of people who travel frequently swear by these. So yes, these are the two that I ended up purchasing. Um, I liked First of all, this one. Um, I like that this one was hard sided and I love the size. I love that they're both, they're actually both square. Um, the difference between the two is this one is hard sided and it has the handle on the um, side as opposed to this one which is soft sided and it's got the handle on the top. So I'm using this one for my cosmetics and this one for my skincare. So let me show you what I love about them. Inside this one right here, this is all of my makeup that I'm bringing with me on vacation, on our cruise, and you can see the inside is um, broken up into these little dividers. They're like a styrofoam divider, but they're a hard styrofoam divider, and you can move them or adjust them to create whatever size compartment that you want. I thought that was brilliant. I thought it was an amazing idea. So this is kind of the configuration that I went with that I thought worked best for the items that I'm bringing with me. Um, I'll just kind of quickly go over some of the items. I know I get a question, I get this question a lot, like what I use for skincare and stuff like that and what I use for makeup. I'll briefly show you um, what I use pretty much on a regular everyday basis. Um, and then I did bring a few things for like dress up, you know, we're gonna get dressed up a little bit. Um, so first of all, this section right here, this is going to be like my foundation or my concealer section. Um, I don't honestly use a lot of foundations. On a regular day, I probably don't even put foundation on. I probably um, mix a little bit of moisturizer with like a BB cream. That's really what I do mostly. Um, but when I do wear foundation, um, this is probably my go-to, the Bare Minerals Bare Pro. I've used this one for probably a good almost two years now. I love it. The color I use is Pecan. I also swear by the um, the Bare Skin, uh, the Bare Minerals Bare Skin um, Serum Concealer. I love this. I'll put this on alone with a little bit of face oil and um, then put a little bronzer over it. So yeah, I use that. Um, I also like this one down here. This is the Well Rested, another Bare Minerals product. No, I'm not sponsored by Bare, Bare Minerals at all. I just like their products. Um, so this is Bare Min Minerals Well Rested Face and Eye Brightener. This is like a miracle worker if you tend to get like darker circles under your eyes. Um, I also use this for highlighting sometimes. Um, and then I have the Bare Minerals. This is the Combo Control Balance Milky Face Primer. And um, I will use this when I'm doing like a full makeup, um, like a full foundation, whatever. This is just, you put this on before your foundation and your concealer and it just helps your makeup go on really nice and smooth. Um, this one right here is kind of my go-to quick day makeup. I will mix this with a little bit of moisturizer and I'll kind of just put this on with my fingers. I love this. It's the Clinique Even Better Glow um, makeup. It's um, the the color is WN76. The problem with this one is in the winter time, it's slightly dark for me. However, we are going on vacation, so I probably will get a decent tan, so I will be able to use that. This is a brand new one that I just got. Now, my Rite Aid had um, 
a huge sale on all of their makeup and Revlon makeup was like 75% off. So I did buy the Revlon Photo Ready Airbrush Effect makeup. I have not used it yet, so I can't tell you how I like it, but I literally only paid like $3 for it. So that is going in that portion of my bag. Um, okay, over here in this compartment, here is that Dove um, Nourishing Cream that I showed in the um, haul video. I actually got this from the Dollar Tree. I love this stuff. This is so good. This is actually really good at nighttime too. Um, but I like that it's a nice like thin container and it fits well in my case here. All right, couple more brand new items that I just bought from Rite Aid. Um, again, these were all on clearance. This is the Revlon Matte Balm. Um, it's a lip crayon, and the color on this one is Elusive. I think it's called Elusive, but it's it's a lip crayon. It was like a dollar. Yeah, I think I paid a dollar for it. This is another one right here. This one, um, I have no idea if I'm going to like these, but I was like, you know what? For a buck, I'm going to try them out. So this one was a do um, number 105 in Demure. Again, it is the Revlon. It's the Lacquer Balm color um, lip crayon. All right, this stuff right here. Love this. This is Vaseline Lip Therapy Rosy Lips. If you want a slight bit of color and you want to keep your lips moisturized, this stuff is amazing. I use this almost every single day. Love that. That is in here. Most of the stuff in here is like lip stuff. Um, this is another lip pencil. It's actually a lip and cheek pencil. This is probably another go-to of mine. Even on days where I don't do full makeup, I will put a little bit of this on my cheeks just to give me a little bit of color. Um, the color is Mystic. Here's another one right here. Um, this one I actually kind of use as a liner. This is in the color Rose. It's from the same brand, Nude Sticks. Um, and then I have in here, um, this is just a liquid liner. So don't use that often, but when I do, I do like a liquid liner. Um, and then some Mega Wear. This is actually Wet n Wild mascara. It was like a dollar. Another really cheap mascara. Now I don't wear a ton of mascara only because I either usually get my eyelashes done so I have fakey eyelashes or I will wear fake eyelashes. Um, and in that case, I will only wear mascara on my lower lashes. So those are the items that are in this little front pouch right here. And if I can find any of these items, items. Um, I will put links for them, especially the items that I like really, really like. I'll make sure that I can try to get links. Okay. So, um, like I said, I'm a huge Bare Minerals fan. I do have some of the Bare Minerals, the original powder foundations. I actually really like the powder foundations. Now I, I never, before I started using them, I never thought that I would like them because I thought that they'd make my skin look cakey or flaky. They actually give you a really nice glow. So yeah, so one of the colors is, um, it's the neutral medium 15. And then I also have, um, the other color is the medium beige N20. So those are the two powder foundations. Now this is one that I swear by as well. This is Clinique's. I will use this all the time. This is the Sunkissed True Pressed it's a true bronzer, pressed powder bronzer. This stuff is amazing. It gives you that gorgeous kind of glowy, dewy looking skin. Um, yeah, so this is something that I pretty much use every day. I will try to link that if I can find it. Um, and I put that on with, actually, no, that's my little kabuki brush. Um, this is the little brush that I put my foundations on with. Um, but let me show you this feature of the bag. Up here is the brush holder. I loved this idea and also it's lined so your makeup isn't getting all over the place. Like the makeup that's on the brushes is staying like on this liner that you can just wipe off with like a baby wipe. Um, so yeah, I use this brush right here for that um, bronzer. It's the Clinique brush. Um, it's a bronzing brush. I don't know. Yeah, bronzing brush. Uh, but yeah, it's really, really nice. I I literally will probably wear this almost every day. I don't think there's a day that goes by that I really don't wear that bronzer because I love it so much. Um, and I'll put that on like over my bare skin with nothing, no foundation or anything. 
Okay, um, then I also have this, it's the Thai Ki, I think that's how you pronounce it, face oil. I'll take a couple of drops of the face oil and put it on like my flat foundation brush here. And then I'll put just a couple of drops of like one of my foundations and I'll like, I'll put that on my skin and it just kind of lightens up the foundation a little bit and applies it um, a little bit smoother and, and not so heavy. Um, so that's what I will use a face oil for. Um, these are a couple of blushes over here. Again, they're Bare Minerals blushes. I will only use them if I do like a full makeup face one day. Um, these are also new. I grabbed a couple of uh, the Almay lipsticks that were on sale at my Rite Aid. Again, I think they were like a dollar each. This one right here is in the color Nude. It's number 30. I have not tried these, so I cannot tell you if I like them, but I will tell you once I try them. Um, this one is in the color Pink Light. All right, so again, they're just, they were super cheap. Check out your Rite Aid, because you, your Rite Aid might be um, doing clearances like mine was. All right, so then I have, these are some of my favorite lip glosses. These are the Bare Minerals. This is the Gen Nude Lip Gloss. Love these lip, glo lip glosses. This color right here is in the color, I think it's Bestie. Yeah, that's the color Bestie. It's just like a nudie pink color. This is like one of the only lipsticks that I ever use. Um, this is in the color Artist Rouge. And again, it's like a it's like a nude color and it's the makeup forever and it came out of the cap but that's okay i kind of stick mine upside down so i can see what colors they are um then this little pouch over here i just have um, an eyelash glue um i have a little um that's an eyeshadow i have some eye primer i have my eyebrow powder which there's my little eyebrow powder and then again all of my brushes are up here and then I, I also have this little zip pouch which goes the whole length behind my brush pouch and I actually store my false light my false lashes in here so this is the brand lash that I like the best it's the kiss brand and it is um, the peony are the lashes that I find I use the most they fit the best on my eye they're super comfortable so yeah I have a couple of these boxes in here all right so that is my cosmetics bag I will link this bag in the description of the video so if you guys want one that's where it will be okay this is the other version of this bag um and again this is the soft sided one this is the hard side this one is perfect for skincare hair care that kind of thing so it's very similar on the inside. However, the difference is because it's a soft sided bag, the inserts are actually soft. They're not like a hard insert like in that one. And then the inserts also have, are, have a Velcro attachment. So you can't move them around. You've got to kind of keep the configuration where the Velcro is. You can remove them if you didn't want them. Um, so that's the only difference kind of between the two is this is soft sided and the um, compartments are kind of fixed. So this is what I have in like my skincare hair care bag. These are some of the things that I use pretty much on a regular basis. Now, if you watched my previous video that I did my hair coloring with Madison Reed, um, Madison Reed actually sent me some of this shampoo and conditioner because I loved it so much. And I'm telling you, this is amazing. I love the smell. It's so good. Um, I'm still offering a discount um, that if you would like to try the Madison Reed products, if you use the code Pixie Dust at checkout, you'll get 15% off plus free shipping. So that um, is still up and available, I believe. Um, but yeah, so I still have, so I have my shampoo and conditioner in this little top pouch. Um, so yeah, that's, that's going to be up in here. Um, I also have some dry shampoo and now I do not wash my hair every day. I cannot, I like, I wash my hair maybe once or twice a week. Um, it dries out so fast, but I do use dry shampoo almost every day that I don't wash my hair. And this is just a little, um, a little small travel um, spray that I got actually I think from TJ Maxx but I have gotten this brand before and it's really good so it's the Pearl Essence dry shampoo lavender fields so I'm gonna bring this with me 
Um, and then as far as skincare goes, I do have a couple brands that I've been using pretty regularly. This is one. This is the Olay Henriksen. This is the Truth Face the Truth Gel Cleanser. Um, I got this in a kit for Christmas time. So I use this cleanser pretty much every day. And then this right here is the Sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream. Um, those two came together. So this is like the moisturizer, the face wash, and then there is a little serum right here. This also came in the little set. And this is the Truth Serum with Collagen Boosted True C Complex. Um, yeah, so I, I kind of, I'll wash my face, I'll put the serum on, then I'll put the moisturizer on. So that's kind of like one little routine that I will do. Like usually I do that one in the morning. Um, some other products that I have been really loving, and this is another brand that I kind of just started trying out, is the Valgene Labs. So this is the Refresh Rose Water and Vitamin B5 Cleansing Milk. This stuff is amazing. This is pr like, this gets rid of your makeup so good. Um, and it feels amazing at nighttime. So I've been using this one at nighttime to wash my face with. I also have been adding some of the, this is the Bare Minerals Mix Exfoliate and Smooth. It's an add to, like basically you add this to whatever um, cleanser you use and it turns it into like a polishing or an exfoliation um, or like a microdermabrasion almost. Um, so yeah, I'll add a little bit of this to my um, cleanser and I actually use this little rubber face washing thingamabob. I honestly don't know what this is called, but this is like the best thing ever. So I'll put my cleanser on here. I'll put some of these little um, Bare Minerals there it's, it looks like sand honestly I'll put a little bit of that and then I'll scrub my face with this at nighttime this cleans your pores out so nicely so yeah I've been doing those at nighttime and then I will put on the revive which is a vitamin C and peptide it says it's a day serum I've actually been using it at nighttime um I don't know does it really matter I don't know but I know that it works really good so I've been using that and then I put this stuff on and this is also amazing this is the Valgene Labs Renew it's a collagen and fruit enzyme sleeping mask and if you want to wake up with your skin amazingly soft this this does it so those are all coming with me on vacation those are pretty much my like everyday go-to face cleansing stuff um, I also love the, now this is actually, I think it's the Target brand, but it is the same as one of the Nutri Neutrogena cleansing towels. So this is the calming version. Um, I love this. This does not irritate my skin. I, my skin is super sensitive to stuff. So sometimes these cleansing towels, like I just, they dry my skin out. This is the only one that does not. So I am going to bring some of those. That's great to just keep next to your bed at night, like when you especially when you're on vacation sometimes you don't have time to wash your face or you're exhausted by the end of the day just keep that next to the bed you can just kind of do it while you're in bed that's what I do okay also um Madison Reed was nice enough to send me this little root touch-up kit um and it's to help with um once my roots start to come out um, before I have another color done so yeah this will be perfect because it'll probably be be getting close to um, needing this by the time our cruise comes around because I did my I did my hair you know it was like a week and a half ago but uh my hair goes pretty fast so that is in there um also I have some little cotton rounds and some cotton swabs then I didn't put this stuff back in very good then up here in this pouch I have um there's just a few other things I have um an eye mask and I also have an argan oil hair mask, which if you're gonna be at the beach and in the salt water, this stuff is amazing to put in your hair after. Like once you get back to your hotel or back to the cruise ship and you get in the shower and wash all the salt out, put this in your hair and it completely softens your hair up from that like salt water. Um, so I made sure I bought one of these. These actually come from the Dollar Tree. I've bought, I've bought like quite a few of them in the past and they work really well. So I did get some of those that are going in here. My toothbrush kit is in here. I have a headband in here and I have a little pack of like um, hair elastics, hair ties, uh, bobby pins, that kind of thing in the top zipper here. So this is the smaller or I should say the soft sided bag. 
All right, guys, well, thank you for sticking around with me and checking out what I put in my little travel bags here. Um, I will be posting more videos right up until the day that I go on our cruise, and then I will be vlogging our entire cruise. So watch for all of our cruise vlogs coming up. We're leaving out of New York City. Um, we've only got two days left, actually really only one day. One more day left, and then we are heading down to the city. Um, so yeah, stick around. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below so that you can be notified whenever I post a new video. Um, also make sure you're following my social media pages the Pixie Dust Housewife on both Facebook and Instagram. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Take care.